Hello my fellow adventurers, welcome back to Living the Grand Adventure. My name is Kevin. I'm Alex. Alex is with me today. We are in Indiana guys, we drove out here. It's about a three hour drive. We are at Morgan Monroe State Forest for a three night trip. Pretty much going to be a relaxing trip. We're not going to overdo the miles or anything. We're here to kind of enjoy, spend some time together and celebrate Alex's graduation. Alex graduated this past Saturday. Today is Thursday. So I decided to bring them on out and we're gonna have fun. Got fresh food for the next two nights. Dehydrated meal for the third night. Gonna try out a new grill. A whole bunch of stuff we're gonna be enjoying. We got plates. <laughs> we got plates. <laughs> we, we got titanium plates. They each weigh about an uh, ounce and a half. So that's gonna be kind of cool too. Uh, brought in the pariah tent that you saw Jenny and I used last year when we went on vacation. Kind of wanted a little bit more of a adventurous slash glam type trip and do what's called the low gap loop. It's the only place you're allowed to actually disperse camp here in Morgan Monroe State Forest. But that's okay, we're going to enjoy it. And like I said, out backpacking, me the first time, well second time this year. Alex, this is the first time they've actually been backpacking since we went to Burr Oak, what, a couple of years ago? Yeah, so definitely interesting and we're going to have fun. And like I said, happy graduation, Alex. So guys, it's a little bit later in the day. We made the drive, like I said, it's about, about three hours from where we live. We had to stop real quick. I forgot sunblock. I actually forgot to buy some. So we had to stop off real quick and get some as we come in. Because we will have a two, two and a half mile hike tomorrow. Uh, on we're road. on a road, so it's gonna be exposed. And I'm pale as a ghost. So if I'm in the sun for too long, I turn into bacon. <laughs> so after driving that three hours, it is now about 15 to 5 so it's pretty late in the day uh the sun doesn't go down till about 15 to 9 10 to 9 so we've got plenty of daylight but we do have fresh food tonight plus like i said we're just trying to do a fun enjoyable trip not as many miles this trip now next trip might be a different story we have an eye on a little bit bigger trip there but this trip like i said with it being graduation we were extremely busy all the way through Monday. Uh, and yesterday I had to get tires on my Jeep. Uh, just needed some new tires and uh, an alignment done. And in doing that, I was tied up most of the day yesterday. So getting out here today, I'm just wanting to kind of relax, especially today. Now tomorrow we probably will do some more miles, but tonight we're going to head in probably, well, we're almost at a mile already. So we're actually looking for a site already. We're just going to get set up as soon as we find a really decent tent site because we do have a tent. Uh, hammocks next time. <laughs> but there's a lizard. I don't, I don't know if you heard that, but there's a lizard that climbed up the tree. I didn't see it. I didn't hear it either. I was talking. So we've already seen some wildlife. We actually saw a turkey vulture as we came in and things like that. But as I was saying, first site we find, we're going to set up and get some wood because we do have steaks over the fire with some fresh Brussels sprouts. You know, kind of my favorite on trail. Alex is really excited. They, I actually gave him an option on what veggie we wanted to have with the steaks tonight. And they chose Brussels sprouts, so. Brussels sprouts are so good. <laughs> they take after me, so we good. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, the first site we see, which I know for a fact there should be some sites up here through my research at the most another mile. We kind of calculated we might have to do two miles today, which is perfectly fine. We'll just tack the two miles on tomorrow. And if we end up doing eight to 10 miles tomorrow, I'm not really stressing it. It's not like we can't do that. But like I said, we are now looking for our campsite for the night. Beautiful area. I, I, I love coming out to Indiana for some of their, some of their trails. And it's kind of neat being back out this direction. Haven't been out here since I went to Charles C. Dean Wilderness almost two years ago.
So we came down into a valley uh, up off a ridge up this direction. There's nice running water. So I carried two and a half liters in and out or three because we weren't sure about a water situation. Some people say it's dry, some people say it's not dry. <laughs> that there is water. If you notice there is definitely water we can could have filtered right through here, no problem. Now per my research, there should be some sites in this area. We haven't seen any just yet, but we're hoping not to have to go too much further. We've already been a mile and a half. Two miles was my goal to be under today. So we're hoping we find a site very, very soon. So we're about two and a quarter miles into the hike. A little bit further than we planned, but we haven't seen any sites yet. There were a couple potentials, but they were kind of overgrown. I think they're more like winter sites. Uh, we did go down into a valley and we come back out of it. And there was a series of stairs. <laughs> That's always fun on trail. But now we're back up on the ridge a little bit and looking at the top of we should be flat for I'd say at least about a half mile. I'm hoping there are some sights through here. See if you notice, it's starting to flatten out behind me. But yeah, now we're definitely looking for a site, hoping to catch one up here on this ridge somewhere where we could kick back and relax, guys. So we made it to site, it's not perfectly ideal. Uh, <laughs> it's actually the trail's right there. We're about 15 feet off of it, which is okay, but I don't, I don't like being that close to trail. This is the site, found it on all trails. I was hoping it'd be a little bit better. We're gonna try to put the tent right here, pretty clear of anything that might fall. This tree is actually alive, even though it looks a little dead in spots. It does have new growth on it. Uh, got a small, small fire ring back over there. Of course, some wood. Like I said, we're going to put the tent right in here. We've done cleared off an area. We're going to let that dry because it was actually a little damp. We're going to let that dry for we'll put up the tent probably for about an hour. In the meantime, we're going to get a little snack, grab a little bit of water, probably start working on this wood. When it's about time, we'll go ahead and get this set up, and then we'll go ahead and try to do us a fire so we can uh, have dinner here in a little bit. It is now... 620 so it's not too bad uh, about two hours or so worth of hiking which wasn't bad beautiful area we were hoping for a better site tonight but we were looking at all trails the next site's probably about three miles that direction so we're like no we're good <laughs> so we, we're going to hike back tomorrow out this direction that we came from about a tenth of a mile two tenths of a mile to what's called the rock shelter trail that trail uh should have a little bit of scenery. It will take us back to the Jeep. It's about, probably about, what I say, a mile and a half from here at the most. Yeah. So, won't be too hard. Then we're gonna figure out uh, if there's any other trails we wanna do, or we're just gonna go ahead and hike the opposite side of the trail and come into a site tomorrow night and then determine what we wanna do for the third night. So, it's gonna be kinda cool. But right now, we're gonna start working on this wood, get this processed up real quick. And then we're gonna enjoy a fire and some steaks over the fire and everything, get the site set up. Not too bad of a hike today, huh? No, not really. It's kind of fun. A <laughs> beautiful area.
Well, you're getting shavings, that's all that matters, I guess. Even if the shavings aren't exactly right here at camp. <laughs> You got I didn't bring anything that's long sleeve. I brought a t-shirt to throw over, but I didn't bring a long sleeve. Yes. Or, well, at some point, I might want that, like in the morning, waking up. Guys, it's about seven o'clock, a little after. We've got most of our firewood processed up. Alex did some shavings, I cut up stuff and got it split. Getting ready to get our tin up. That spot, if you can notice, has dried out pretty good. It's still a little damp. But the tent we have actually has a ground sheet, so I'm not super stressed about a little dampness. Uh, really comfortable evening. Uh, probably in the mid 60s now. Uh, so not cold at all, very comfortable, especially doing wood little breezy it comes in a little gust and then it dies off you know there's I mean, very little wind in the trees right now but there is occasionally a nice breeze that comes through kind of set us up a little bit of a firebox here got the two stones that we're going to put our grill over we have uh, the hellfire bushcraft grill with us tonight that's what we're going to be cooking on so i'm kind of looking forward to that never used it something jenny got me recently and then we put, you know, we looked around, just so you know, we looked around all through here. There are no stones that we could find. Uh, everything is either undergrowth, covered in leaves. I mean, I'm sure you, if you dug up under these leaves some, you could find some stones. But we, we even did that a little bit and couldn't find anything. So I took these two extra pieces here. And I figure I got a couple of these lo bigger logs. I'm going to set up and kind of brace that. I'll do that as a kind of a fire stop to make sure that the fire don't spread. If you notice, we're going to clear some of this out a little bit more make sure there's nothing up against that fire when we start it so we don't start a forest fire as we cook dinner but Alex is finishing up breaking up some twigs and stuff to get the fire going here in just a few minutes but we're going to get the tent up first and then uh, just enjoy the evening guys so guys we've actually got sites set up you can see the tent here in the background that's the pariah and we're just kind of sitting down now kind of relaxing for just a minute before we get this fire going we're going to throw our steaks on here in just a moment once we get a good ember set and really just try to enjoy the night now. You having fun so far? Yeah. All right. We do have intermittent signal, so I was able to send some messages out to the family, let them know where we're at. Uh, talk to Jenny for just a second. She's watching one of the grandbabies. They had Taco Bell tonight. <laughs> 
But, I don't know. Steaks on the fire sounds better than talk about me. Oh, definitely. So we're gonna get the steaks on. Uh, here, here how is how we have it set up as far as the grill. Uh, it's about the best we can do right now with a limited amount of rocks and sh stuff we've had. So yeah. I mean, it is what it is, but it should work just fine. People in the background. Yeah, there, there's a group. They must be camping, because that hasn't moved. <laughs> There's a group out this direction camping or something. We've been hearing them off and on for about an hour now, and they're... I don't know, that sounded like almost like Indian chants. I'm not sure what's going on over there. <laughs> but they're, they're out that way. We thought they would be coming up the trail and going by, but I guess they found a site out there or made a site. That you know, or found something like we didn't see. So either way, it's all good. But we're getting ready for dinner. We're gonna get it going, guys. It was struggling there for a second, did you yeah, see? Just for a second. Okay. <laughs> so basically we're gonna get it built up a little bit right now, let it burn down to embers and then start cooking on it? Yeah, and that's why you're doing the Brussels while it's doing that. Brussels. So guys, we got the fire going really hard. These steaks are about done. Brussels sitting right there. That's the uh, new pot. Well, it's actually a skillet that Jenny actually bought me for Christmas a couple years ago. I used that down at Germantown. Getting to use it here on an open fire. It's kind of cool. Got our plates set up. Alex is ready to eat. <laughs> So we're going to get these off, eat, and enjoy the night. I wanted to put a little water in. I was trying to make it look good. So we got the steaks and brussels off. That's our plates. And now we've just got the fire built up. It's going to catch up here in a minute, and we're going to enjoy the night. Go and enjoy this food. That looks really good. What do you think, Alex? Oh, I'm so excited for this. It looks so good. I mean, they get they got a little warm, a little scorched, but I bet you that char is gonna taste delicious because it was over a fire on like wood we cut ourselves, and this is gonna be rewarding. So we got our dinner done. Uh, it's about nine o'clock now. The sun officially went down at 8:54, so it's gonna start getting dark on us now. Uh, if you can tell, the woods are pretty dark. <laughs> Sky's still kind of lit up, but it won't be long. That'll go away a little bit. We do have about a quarter moon tonight. Did you enjoy your dinner? Yeah, it was delicious. I love it. I'm actually wearing my rain jacket right now because I got a little chilled, so I put it on because it keeps me warm. Mm. <laughs> so, <laughs> having fun. So I went ahead and put on my uh, over shirt for the night. Uh, it's an outdoor uh, vitals shirt. Pretty nice, really comfortable. Great for this time of year. Uh, I'll put the type it is right up here. I paid uh, paid ten dollars for it, but I, you know, like I told you before, when I was at Big South Fork, I do the ten dollars a month to be part of their program, kind of as a layaway for myself. And this is my second buy for it. I got the turn hoodie, which is uh, a thicker wool, more for fall and winter. As an underlayer, 
I got that when I went to Big South Fork just before, and then I saved up and got this one for spring and summer and stuff. It's supposed to get down about 45 tonight, so we'll see what the temperature might get down to. I don't have my thermometer. I actually forgot that at home, unfortunately. It's probably the only thing I did forget. I actually um, took it off my bag because I did a day hike recently, and I forgot to get it and put it back on there. So it is what it is. But we have a nice little fire. If you notice, like I said, we've kept it kind of small, kind of compacted down in here so we don't start a forest fire. You know, during the summer when you're not trying to stay super warm, this is about as big a fire as you need. And, you know, I did get it blocked off pretty decent. And, you know, we haven't used a lot of the wood we had. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little dark. But uh, we've used maybe, what, a half of what we had sitting here. And we probably won't use much more. Like I said, it's a little after 9. We're thinking we might chill out to about 11, 11.30, hit the tent, and go to sleep when we want to. And there's no big rush to get up tomorrow. This is a more relaxing backpacking trip just to kind of get out and enjoy ourselves, like I said, for Alex's graduation. So, but uh, having a good time, and that's really what matters. They have really good steaks and Brussels over the fire. That, that Hellfire Grill worked really good. Um... The pan that Jenny got me worked really good. I did get it sooty, so I'll have to take it home and clean it off a little bit. It'll never look like it did when I first bought it, but, you know, you get you buy pans and stuff to cook over the fire, and, you know, they're going to get dirty. They're a tool, so it's perfectly fine. But I definitely appreciate her getting that for me. It's been awesome using the last couple trips, and it was great for tonight. It's the end of the night. It's about 9.30. The fire's dying down. We're actually going to crawl in the tent probably in the next 20, 30 minutes get ready to lay down because we do have a bigger day of hiking tomorrow probably, probably not a lot of miles but we're going to you know see what we can get done so we got to get our bear bag up but you know that won't take long it's about 75 feet out that direction <laughs> so we're going to do that here in just a minute i'm snacking on some hot peanuts real quick before i lay down once i get done with those yeah we're going to get that done and then uh just finish up our camp chores you know a few things brush your teeth go to bed uh, <laughs> yeah so what do you think about the first day so far Sorry, there's a lot of smoke. <laughs> um, I'm enjoying it a lot. I mean, this is a very new area, and uh, I've only been out to Indiana once when we went to Charles Lee Deem and when we stayed like overnight, which was pretty fun. And I'm enjoying the state park. It's really pretty out here, and I'm really liking it so far. And I'm kind of excited because tomorrow's going to be like kind of a unique day. So, and like what the way we have stuff planned. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm having a good time. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. <laughs> happy to be here. Yeah, so, yeah, we're going to sign off for the night, though. Like I said, uh, we're not super tired. We might go in here. We're thinking about probably watching video, maybe, um, I don't know, some TV or something because we did download a few things on both phones. So we'll figure out what we're going to do. But we'll probably be asleep no later than, I figure, 11, 12 o'clock. So hopefully you've rest well. Not a lot of sounds in the woods, so it's been kind of, kind of great. We've seen... Well, we saw one person, and then we saw a group of three come through. Them. All of them were day hiking, so it's kind of cool. Yeah. So, very peaceful, very quiet. A couple birds, right about dusk, and now we haven't heard much. Just uh, a little bit of crickets and some planes. <laughs> but guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. You know, the whole nine yards, it definitely helps us out here at the channel. Uh, if you like the video, of course, other people get a chance to see it, thanks to YouTube's algorithm. And we definitely like having new subscribers. It really helps us out. I appreciate everybody's viewership and you guys watching. Thank you for doing that. We really appreciate it. <laughs> we'll see you guys on the trail tomorrow. Until then, guys, take care and good night. Always remember to live your gain adventure to the fullest. We'll see you then.